Okay. Uh, let me see here. Just got to do some quick. I don't have a picture of what I'm making to show you guys. So why did I do that? Hang on. Give me a minute. I'm screwing this up really like I always do. This is so annoying how long this takes. Come on. All right. My God, this chicken pot holder is so, so cute. I just cannot not make it. Uh, I think that's it. Save. Go post it in Facebook. And I am good to go here. Well, I will be in a second. I can't schedule these videos for later because for some godforsaken reason, they don't start. <clears throat> I've tried to do that. And then I'd have to delete the video and go start all over again. So that's why I can't do this ahead. I think I'm done. Yes. Hi, Rachel. How are you? All right. Now, for anybody that wants to make this, feel free to check out the description box because the pattern for this is below the, uh, the video. So go have a look and check it out. And you guys can see for yourself. Um, but I was not quite ready to start because I have to run potty. Oh my gosh. i got to get this to start. Um, nope. There we go. All right. We are good. Okay. Okay. Mm, this thing is so cute. Oops. But check out the pattern. It's in the description box, but I need one minute because I, I never had a chance to put my dogs outside, do anything. I just set this up and it made me start it right away. So I don't even know how to pause this right now. So give me a minute. I wanted to go wash my hands. I just got home from work. I just ate some lunch and I'll be right back. So Rachel, tell everybody I'll be right back, please. I got to let my doggies out. I got to do shit. I didn't want to start this right away, but it started.
Okay, I'm finally to do this now. All right. Yay. How are you, Rachel? Jeff, just know you don't have to go to Home Depot, eh? Because our order isn't ready for pickup. I haven't got anything from them. Oh, I needed a drink. Okay. I'm going to link the lady's YouTube channel, too, because she does this, but she doesn't talk in it. Hi, Jamal. How are you? Long time no see. So, these are the pieces, and she get, I got the link below for the pattern. Okay, so I'm just going to set all these, because I'm making two of them. So, I'm going to set this aside, because we're going to cut the, the, um, I'm good, the Thinsel Bright. This, to me, is um, the best to use for pot holders. That lady used just regular... Um, okay, so I think I can double this up. Yes. Well, I want to make sure I can see that it's short over there. So you need two pieces of Thin So Bright for each piece or batting. I'd rather not use batting in, um, hi Jan, I'd rather not use batting in a pot holder. I just don't find it safe. You're going to need two pieces of this piece. I'm cutting four because I'm making two pot holders. And this one, you only need one piece for each pot holder. All right, so I went crooked anyway, but that's okay. And that's it. We'll get these cut out. That's all I need for this. For the thin so bright. So I'm going to pin them. And then I'm just going to manually cut them out. But I am going to use pin pins. I'm actually going to use stronger and bigger pins. I'll use my new ones because they're nice and long. So we want to give this a good pin. So the pattern for this is below. And again, I will link her YouTube channel for her. She's the one that created this rooster, I guess. She gives you the pattern. So we'll get this cut out. So that's that one. This one here, um, I don't think I'm going to cut two layers at a time. It's not a good idea. So I'm going to cut two at a time. So I can only do these two. Because it's, uh, this stuff is thick. Girl, you make me nervous with that rotary cutter. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Sorry, Jan. I, I keep thinking I'm being very careful with it. I know I probably make a lot of people nervous with it. So these pieces here for the insulation or whatever you want to call this batting, you want to cut it the actual size for now. That's the part you want to cut for actual size. So we'll save these two because I'm going to cut them out. And then we'll cut the, the roost, the chicken's head body part out. Fingers. Yeah, I know. On one of these days, I'm probably going to cut my finger off. Because I use my rotary cutter unprotected constantly. I have a severely bad habit of that. I know. 
I think we're good with pins. Okay. So, which scissors? Maybe I'll try these little guys, see how good they do. So this one here, you want to cut it actual size. You don't want to cut it bigger. No, these are too small. Got to pull out the big wigs. Got to put out, pull out the real deal here. I just hate cutting paper with my good scissors. But I don't have a choice in this matter. Okay. cut for one pot holder so there we go well that didn't cut very nice so there's that was good thing I didn't try to cut four because that would have just been a disaster okay I'll do this I was going to say, I know I had four pins. Okay. Try again now. Now we're not cutting paper. This pot holder is stinking, stinking cute. This would make some really lovely gifts. Really lovely gifts. And I did it again. Okay. Now we've got our two layers of pot holders. Beautiful. And that's Gargonzo. Okay. So that's the hard part done. And I'll do the easy ones. Oh, you're going to love this, Jan. Just stick around and we'll watch and wait and see what happens. This thing is so cute. And I'm just using scrap fabrics, just so you know. I didn't pull out any fabrics out of my stash of any kinds. Just straight up scraps. So you just need scraps big enough, like this, size of your pattern, to make these. So there's that. So we're going to do one more. Because you need two of each for each chicken. I don't know why my scissors are magnetic, but they always get pins stuck to them. Always. These are huge pins. I ordered these the other day and I thought they were extra fine. And they are not. Because that's what I like to use for my piecing. Hi, Lin Young. How are you? Glad you guys are here with me. This is the easy peasy one. 
And one good thing is you just print the pattern off once and you have it forever. Because you don't have to... Ooh, I almost was going to throw away that part. Ow. All right, there's those. Now this, you only need one of each, or one for each chicken. cutting out the interfacing in my case I'm using thin so bright we're done cutting that that's not quite nice okay. all right so we're done with that now for the fabric I picked out my fabrics already hello BJ I am good I am good thank you for asking Lynn my feet are still killing me <laughs> believe me now I don't need my big pins anymore. Now for the fabric. So let's start with the beak. And I don't know what you call this part. What do you call this? I don't know. What you call that? But. The top part of the chicken. So let's just cut out. You need two for each. So let's cut it out. Oh yeah, this is right. Oh jeez. I was about to lose my shit. I thought I did wrong, but I did not. Or did I? Shoot. Let me go check my pattern. Because I probably screwed up already. Oh no. Where'd you go? Bitch. Oh, come on. This computer is so slow. I really hate it. I really do. Dang. I didn't screw this up. Hmm. Well, I did. So let's not do that again. I do have to cut this out though, because I do need it. I'll show you. I screwed up. I, I ruined that red, so I'm going to cut another piece. I got more. So where did I put it? Right here. I'll just cut another piece off. So this has to be at least a, a chunk anyway. There we go. Like that. Get rid of this before I get confused. 
All right, let's get back to this. Oh, I know. Thanks, Lynn. He was cute. All right. I'm going to put right sides together. Oops. Because we are going to draw on this. You need your lines. Because you have to sew these individually. Very good. <coughs> so let's put a little couple of pins in this so it doesn't shift on me. Alright, that's done. So we have to repeat that for this. Because what you're going to do is stitch on this line and then you're going to leave a little border around it. But I cut it directly on the line so you don't want to do that. Do the same for the beak. I'm put right sides together. Probably don't even need this. <coughs> Jeez. All right. We're good with that. And we're good with that. So there's the two beaks. Make sure you don't lose these pieces. I'm going to put those in a um, page protector. <clears throat> All right. So those are ready to be sewn. Get those aside. Now... Here are the fabrics I've chosen. So you got to do each one individually because you've got to. Well, no, not really. I could do these together. So we'll start with the chicken. <coughs> so the chicken's going to fit on the yellow too. Okay. It's all the way around, all the way around. All right. I'm going to trace it. Mm 
not too sure why I did this. Oh, just to cut it out. That doesn't matter. This pen doesn't write very good. This fusible or That's good. So let's put some pins in there. I will be cutting this out by hand. Um, yes, they all can fit in the washing machine. I've washed mine, um, my one I use on my couch. I've washed it umpteen times. Lots. Really. Lots. Alright, so we've got that cut. So that one we need two of each. <clears throat> this one you need two Whatever you do, don't touch your uh, don't touch your fabric with the iron if you're using one of these. Hello, Margaret. How are you? Oh, thanks, Margaret. Yes, I have never stopped. I just stopped doing YouTube videos. That's that one. <clears throat> and now we need this. Okay. Let's do a big giant circle. And that's it for that. Okay. So here are all my pattern pieces. <clears throat> Let's pin them. Go read my instructions one second.
ow, ow. That's bitch. The pins hurt. All right. Oops, I can't see. Now time to cut these out. Now you're supposed to cut these out one centimeter bigger. So, I mean, I could get technical. So I would say I'm leaving about a three-eighths of a border. So it's a little bit bigger than a quarter inch in some spots. <laughs> Oops, I've got small there. I just don't like patterns that don't come with your see with your hem allowance, your seam allowance. You gotta kind of cut it out yourself and pray they fit. I'm going to go back over this because I didn't cut this all the same. I got smaller. Okay. That one's got like a point on it. I want to take that off. All right. I'm taking these pins out. You're going to have them go this way, correct? Yes. Okay. That one's kind of got a little hump on it. And I want to take it off. Probably just went really crooked with the scissors. So with that one, it's got a little. There. We go. Okay, so those pieces are done. All right. Let's see if we can be consistent and cut the seam distance I'm trying to do it I'm winging it the same with this. That one's good. This one's good. Now to cut the chicken out.
Okay. That's a done deal. I have everything cut out. Where did I put the cover? I'm not too worried about the friction pin because that will iron out of this. Just really, really. Oh, you have, Margaret? <laughs> nice. I'm trying to think, you know, I used Huh. Okay. So where are my pieces here? Only one of these. Needs this. Not sure how I can get this to stay because it's not fusible. And she used fusible something, please. I think I'm just going to pin it in place. <coughs> That goes with that one. <coughs> I guess it doesn't matter really. Didn't really leave a very big border. I hope my machine so thrill this damn thickness. <clears throat> I just don't see how I need all of this. It doesn't make sense.
Hmm. I don't know. This is like seems like way too much bulk. I could have probably used some fleece. Let me think. I think there's only one of these needed. Because if I sew this, like I could see both sides of this having it, but not this, not two pieces. This is a little too thick. Okay, I'm only going to put one in. I'm going to take one of those out. Because... Oh, that didn't even catch on here. <laughs> All right. Take this out. This just doesn't seem right to me. <clears throat> so one of these yellows will be sewed to this. I mean, that would have double thickness. I don't know what to do. I just feel like that's really thick. It just, it seems that's what she did. I'm really, I'm actually at a loss here. I'm just going to do it. Thick or not, I don't care. I don't know. Are you snagging it? I'll figure it out. I <clears throat> will figure it out. She said to cut two of these. So there's a reason for that. So that's what that, that's what that. 
Those only get one and these both get. This I can see. I should actually I'm going to tack this down with glue fabric glue of course <clears throat> that's how I'm going to get it to stay because I don't have this is not fusible and like I said I just don't trust fleece Itchy. I don't trust fleece when it ouch when it comes in contact with heat. I just dropped a pin somewhere and I don't know how. Let me get these pinned. And that way I can work with them. And then I'll glue them. wouldn't have looked good. Come on, get in there. I think I need, I think I'm missing something here. Yes, I am. I'm missing two pieces. That's why I'm confused. Ouch. Oh, I see. Okay. I got to cut some more fabric and I don't think I have enough of this. And I need two more of each. All right. Let me see what I can do for the pink and the yellow. <coughs> see some yellow and I see some pink oh perfect oh this will be perfect all right okay. where's my pattern I need I need two pieces of this so you actually need four of these All right, I'm going to turn my iron on because I want to iron this to get it nice and flat. Let's just do it wrong sides together right now, or right sides together. so thirsty I really need to catch a drink okay. just gonna give these a quick little press 
Oh, that's what these were supposed to be. These were the liners. Yes, that's why I, I am such an idiot. <clears throat> Never mind, I already I forgot about this. See, I pulled out the fabric and forgot what I was doing. Sorry. This is the contrast fabric. Yes. Okay, I'm going to grab a drink. sure when I was thinking, 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 I forgot. I just need one. Now I need to pull my scissors back out. It would be nice if it would be easy. that up with the iron to get rid of the marks all right let's put some glue down this is fabric glue so I'm just gonna tack it in especially in spots where I know it's gonna move wanted to hit that with uh, the iron <clears throat> so those two pieces are good so that goes with this so those two pieces go with that finish this up this 
way. Hear it. Very, very nice. We'll do the same with this one. one of these didn't I iron this one? I'm going to give it a press to help the glue stay. Okay, so that one's good. Oh, we didn't glue this. That's good. That's good. We need to glue this. called Roxanne glue stick. It's a fabric glue stick. I'm going to give that a press. There we go. Perfect. It's cucky feeling. That one doesn't have any thing on it. This one does. Oh, I'm glad I'm taking this off. I put it on the wrong side of the fabric. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. drying. My hands are all icky, sticky from this glue. all over. I'm going to have to get my baby wipes. Got a big hunk of it there. Whoops. Alright, that's 
good. Something's making me itchy. You really don't want to touch it as glue where your stitch line is. That's why I'm trying to be diligent and get it only on this uh, stuff. Hi, Barb. How are you? Long time no see, Barb. This is colonialneedle.com. Roxanne glue stick. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to watch, wash my hands because they are covered in glue before I touch anything else on my desk. And then I'm going to need a baby wipe to wipe up the glue off my mat.
to know how big 14 centimeters is. <sighs> what did I do with that ruler? Oh, it's right there. This should have centimeters on it, I hope. And I need a baby wipe. <clears throat> okay. All right. 14 centimeters. That's a pretty big piece. I'm going to need both of them. Okay. I need a baby wipe because I got glue on here. This is my new mat. That's all I need is glue on it. Alright, so I need this. And I will need these. So this is the um I'm going to cut these to one inch. She doesn't tell you how big to cut these. At least I don't see it anywhere. Um, but I think one inch is fat enough. for the Because of the bulkness. So I'm going to need these. As well. To be one inch. Because I need five of them at 14 centimeters so I'm just cutting one inch strips and that just moved on me all right these are going to be very tedious I can promise you that but let's see how many pieces I can get one, two, I can get three from each strip. That's good. Okay. So, all right. I have two colors here. So I'm going to need two strips because I'm not going to be able to do it with just the one. This is going to be very tedious. So while the glue's drying on that, I'm going to make these because these are going to be the worst to make. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra, I got the best thing for you. I got a hexagon Christmas tree skirt you might want to make. Right, Sandra? Oh, uh, thank you, Barb. That warms my heart. Oh, thank you for that. Okay, time to get tedious. But Hers look pretty fat. And in all honesty, I don't want mine that big. So when we consider that, mine are going to be this wide. Yeah, that's what we want. So we need to iron. I need to stretch out my cord. I'll put you over here and I'll just get my little ironing board out. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Sandra. Have I got the project for you? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, this is going to be so tedious. <laughs> oh, my God. Is there not an easier way to do this? Probably not. I am not looking forward to making these. That's probably why she used a bigger strips. Because she was smart. So. Hey Jeff. Yeah. Guess what your wife got? No coffee. Oh. Mm -hmm. These are going to be the world's smallest. Ah, what am I doing? Might as well just get it over with. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, I made me a design board test last, t last night. 
Next will be my little mini ironing mat like yours. There you go. Look at how tedious this is going to be. This is fun. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing I only have four of these to make. Ding. I'm almost thinking ribbon would be better. But I don't have any. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. What color ribbon I could use. Because this really, really sucks. I really don't want to make these. Ow, ow. This ironing board's hot. I'm just going to do it this way now. Because I don't want to do it any other way. There we go. It's a lot easier. Red so long is going to be bigger than this. But it is what it is. Ow! Ow! Ah! Frickin' steam. Brought your coffee, sweetie. Oh, you brought me a coffee, sweetie? Brought your coffee, sweetie. Oh, thanks. My maple coffee. <laughs> She's gonna burn her hexagon template. If I were you, I would... St I would break it. Crack it, burn it, and then burn it again. Because that's what I think of hexagons, too. I do not like them. So, that's going to give me three pieces of tail. And I'm only going to need uh, 28 more inches. So only up to here, because I'm not doing more than I need to. Uh-uh. Not going to. Less is better. Less is more. Now let me see, is this still 28 centimeters? Yeah, it's way over. Okay, good. <laughs> the less I have to do, the better.
This is the quickest, easiest way to just fingernail. Good way of ironing it. On a hot ironing board. There, we've got one whole chicken done. One whole chicken. So, let's cut this piece to the same as this piece. So I don't have to do extra work. Okay. I don't, I'm not even being fussy about these because they're just the tail. That's all they are. I know she says to cut them at 14 centimeters long and you don't have to finish off the ends and you'll see why, how it gets sewn in. But you'll see why I didn't want to make them very thick because you would have to overlap them and overlap them. And to me, that is just way too much bulk in, uh, in the sewing part, so... We'll try it and see. Okay. I got myself a little Alyssal mini iron in my Amazon cart. Nope, this ain't binding. It is the chicken's tail. Probably could use ribbon, but she didn't use ribbon. You can see she used a piece of fabric. I just don't know how long the piece is. And this is the longest I had of cute fabrics to make for tails. Of course, it's my Lori Holt fabric. You know. This little pressing. I really need to put some water in the iron. I might iron better. Ouch! Why do I always do that? Run my finger across that. Why? Did my boss text me back? Yep, she did. She said, awesome, thank you. Okay. I'm just running my fingernail along it. I'm creasing it with my fingernail. Works just perfectly. Just fold it. <clears throat> oh my god, that ironing board gets this ironing board gets very hot. This piece of free bitch. I'll put you back before you get so hot.
I need to put water in this. <laughs> Just being lazy. All right, where are you? It is like bone dry. Don't waste your money on a big one. If you read a lot of people's reviews, those things burn out very quickly, and mine did too. I had a full-size Alyssa iron, smart iron. They're not worth the money. Everybody said, oh, my iron doesn't work. My iron, after one year, my iron doesn't work. My iron's leaking. Mine leaked really bad. I just heaved it in the garbage. And that's when I bought my Rowenta. But I'm going to try their mini iron. Haven't seen too much bad reviews on that one yet. But I have on the big iron. One that's 200 bucks. What a waste of money. A lot of people won't buy a list of those. Some people have bought two and three of them. They've just done the same thing for them. So, you want to keep wasting your money on that? You go right ahead, ladies. But Alyssos are not the greatest irons in the world. Yeah, I get that they have a thing where you can just put them down and they pop back up. That's the only thing they're good for. Because they don't last very long. So don't waste your money. Save your money up and buy a Rowenta. You'll not regret it. Yeah, well, your Alyssa is going to do the same thing. For the amount of money you spend on that, you would expect it to be a little better than what it is. You will love a Rowenta, Sandra. Being a cr uh, quilter, yeah, you will love it. All right. Those little nasty bitches are done. Okay. So let's cut our pieces. All right. 14 centimeters. Just do it this way. That one's not picking up. Oh, you know what? I need to sew these first. So let me sew them first. Then we will cut them. Because I'm not going to sew a bunch of tiny pieces. Not going to happen. All right, I 
let's move this. Let's move my coffee. Oh, goody, I pulled my thread out. Oh, my God, try and fucking thread a machine with curly thread. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go this way. that sew down nicely? It sure did. That's done. Let's sew up this. What is stopping me? Okay, I'm going to do tiny stitches, which will help me to do curves with this straight stitch sewing machine. that special. I think these are the tedious things to make.
Oh shit. I don't know why I did that. Should have started over here because you have to leave. and easy to turn that are done. The, the worst part is done. Well, not really. You've got to turn these out. And I'm going to need this, I guess, to do it. Okay. Now we can mark these. Where did I mark them? It was not that one. It was this one. Okay. Well, let's just put them together. Where's my rotary cutter? Oh, Close your eyes. move. Yes, it did. One. Those are garbage. There's three. I think that's fine. Four. Five of each. Good. Now don't move. And these is this is why I said look at the thickness you're gonna double these over and that's part of the chicken's tail these 
See? You can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Jeez. I forgot to move my camera off my desk. Sorry, guys. Oops. I'm not sure what I did there. Okay. So... This is more like a rooster, I think. It's not a chicken. It looks like a rooster to me with this thing. I guess I, chickens have these too. I don't know. Wish I knew, but I don't. One little beaky, one little beaky. So cute. Okay, fun part, turning these inside out. Inside right, I mean. This is the part I'm not... Especially this. What am I going to use? That's not going to work. Of course she doesn't show you how to do this. <laughs> oh, good thing I... Did I even backstitch there? Oh my god, I didn't. That's still gonna pull out. Duh. Remember to backstitch. Since I didn't. I did on the beaks. I didn't on this one either. Because that's just going to pull apart. Now, let me see if I have a small pin that will work. I have a piece of lint. Anybody have any suggestions? How you would turn such a tiny piece? Oh my god, my fingers are too fat. <laughs> it's not working. Oh my god. I don't know how to turn these. Oh my god. 
Nope. Maybe I got it. Let's get this out of here. Oh my god, it's just fraying the fabric. Oh, come on. I knew this was going to give me a headache. <sighs> Those are just going to poke a hole in it. Oh, that thing is just too fat. Struggle is real. That is not all the way out. That just wrecked it. Turning that out. That kind of frayed it. <sighs> Shit. That's that was a nightmare. Tweezers. Where are all my tweezers? I'm just going to do it this way again. All my tea tweezers have points on them. They'll just poke right through. They're as sharp as my scissors. They're my dollhouse tweezers. Okay, back to this again. Pick, pick, pick. Get out of here. 
Get out of here, stupid fruit fly. Wow. Still gonna fuck off. Why do I have a fruit fly in here? It's gonna go in my coffee. I don't even know where these fruit flies are coming from because I don't even have any fruit out. I never leave my fruit out. Alright, well, I'm giving you guys fair warning that the nose is not the greatest piece to do. The beak. I can tell you that. You need a patience of a saint to do this. Come on, out. push out. You bitch. Well, that's the beaks. No fun. Uh, probably not, Sandra. <laughs> I'm not sure how you're going to turn this. I don't know. Honest to God, this is teeny tiny. Okay, this one was not as bad as the other one. Well, that was easy peasy. Going to give them a little pressy. And I'm probably going to stick some uh, fray stuff on this so it doesn't fray at the tips where I kind of beat on it. what I need. Something there. Yeah, like that. Just kind of like that. Good enough. Okay. Ooh, those were a nightmare. <laughs> oh, those really were a nightmare. Don't ever ask me to do that again. So, I need to find my free stuff. 
Let me just have a look in my cupboard. It's just to, it will harden the seam and it won't allow it to fray. Oh boy, I do not know where I put it. Go figure. It's not there, it's not there. Super glue. Where is my free shit, bitch? Where is it? Oh no. Where did I put that stuff? Not like something I use very often. And I know it's not in there because I cleaned that. So I'm just gonna put a dab of this super glue on it so it doesn't fray. I don't even know if there whoa. Just on the very tip where I did that. And we'll stick you over there so you're not on my mat. to my fray stuff. I don't want to get this glue on my fingers because it's permanent. This is Loctite gel. And it locks. That dries pretty quick. Yeah, but you don't want it on your fingers, look. Uh-oh. Is my fray stuff up here somewhere? If it is, I have no clue where I put it. No clue. None. Let's just move you out of the way for now. All right. I don't know where I put that stuff. Okay. So, we don't want the chickens. We don't want this. We want these. We don't want that. Want these two. And I'm sure my glue is good and dried. And we want these two. So. Let's decide. The green with the yellow. The blue with the pink. Yeah. That's what I. What I first. Intended. You, let's move these till it's time to put them, stick them on. I'm just going to move them over there before I knock them off with sewing. Okay.
So, I'm going to eat my ironing board. One pocket. There's another pocket. Ouch. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Bitch. Why do I always do this? This, uh, this cover gets so hot from the iron. All right. Let me see. I don't know. Which way does this go, guys? Does it go with the big hump on this side? Or this side? Which way does this go? Big hump? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so we're going to clip you right there. And then you're going to do the beak. I don't know, i got to find her diagram to find out where them beaks go. Because I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm pretending I do. Oh. It goes right there. And the fat part goes this way. Goes like that. Okay. So we have that. We have the beak. We have that. And the beak. Oops. He needs to go that way. There's actually a little groove in there that you can see where the beak goes. On the thing. Now, these are two different patterns. Three, four, five. So, put that one with that. Just going to try and fit them all here. I could see three fitting across. And there. That's pretty thick. 
That's all I can tell you. And one there. All right. I think we've got that. So we need this. All right, I think this is going to be so cute. And what I like about these is they stand up and they look like a chicken. Oh, shoot. Shoot, did he shoot? All right. Now all we need to do is tack these little bitches down. We got those. We will tack them down. So, let's do this. Okay. Good thing I have a powerful sewing machine. little bitches ain't going everywhere look at how cute that is the little tail <laughs> so cute let's tack this down tack this down and that will be that and that. Oh my god! Look at how cute! Look at... Wait, I gotta move my camera. <laughs> you guys can see. Look at how cute! Come on! Look at how cute this is! That one kind of didn't go on the thing. So we have to base this. Just a base. Because when you do grab the chicken, this is part of the pot holder, I think. I don't know. Is that how it goes? I don't know. Let me go look at her pattern. I mean, she doesn't speak English, so she's very hard to very hard to figure out. So let me watch this. 
Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Oh shit, I gotta top stitch those. Oops. Okay. I forgot to top stitch this. Idiot! That has to get top stitched. I was going to do it, and that's why I sat them aside, and then I just skipped it. Okay. Let's top stitch this. That looks better. Now let me fix my mistake. Let me do the rest of these before I stitch them on. Be a lot easier. See guys, this is what you can do with all your leftover fabrics. So now we need to stitch this here. Oops. On this side. Basically, all you're doing is just basting them. Then, we need to stitch. Oh, I can't fix that one. Well, it can. No, because that'll twist it. Well, dang it. You know what? I'm just going to cut it off. Because it didn't go in there. It didn't make it in the seam. So. I will fix that. Over top like this. Oh shit. But it didn't make it in the line there, so.
the one. Now, I think the next thing we do is we sew these. Oh boy. I have to find a way that these are not going to snag in here. Like, oh my god. Alright. Hmm. If I put pins in that, it's going to be extremely dangerous. don't get snagged in the seam at all. Can't wait to get that pin stuck in me. Ooh, I love it. Can't wait for it. <laughs> Probably will, don't worry. Don't even kid yourself. Ow! You here, you there. Okay, I'm gonna put some clips on it. Now, where's my pattern? Because I know we have to mark this. So we're going to stitch from there to there. Alright. Now let's do this guy. Happy little braid. Keep you guys safe from being stitched. Come on, I want you to 
go down this one. It's not going to. Ooh, I gotta remember those pins to take them out. Ow! Shit! How many pins do I have in here? That's not gonna hit. That's not gonna hit. But this one will. These ones will hit. So I have to remember to take them out. They're not doing anything anyways. this with my sew machine I'm good because that will break the needle Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so that's going to open up like that. And then somehow this will stitch one here and then I know you gotta leave an opening and that's how you're gonna go wee 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 <laughs> these are so cute <laughs> I'm gonna take a little break if you guys don't mind first of all let's mark our little cheeky chick a dick so from there to there those are our sewing lines. Those are our little chickpeas. What do you guys think so far? You mind if I take a few minutes break? Hi, Daryl. What's for supper? <laughs> We're having uh, beef on a bun. That's what's for supper. And I am making, hi, Pamela, I am making a chicken pot holders. These are, ch and the, the pattern for this is in the description box below. Super, super cute when I get, I'm almost finished them. So I'm just going to take a minute's break and then I'll come back and stitch from here to here. And then we have to flip them up and then we have to put the bottom side on. When I get back, do you guys mind if I uh, take a minute's break? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Remember giving you, per I don't remember giving you permission on a break. <laughs> Nobody's going to listen to you, Jeff. Why you be so mean like that?
I don't think this next part's going to be very easy, guys. Anyway, I'm taking a break. I'm not I'm not listening to Jeff and Marie. I'm actually going to go in the living room and punch him in the face with an iron. Look what I'm bringing in the living room. You better run. Look what I got. And it's got a major steam hole. I could leave a beautiful imprint on the side of your face. <laughs> Here I come. You better run. I'm bringing my favorite iron. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, I needed to stretch. I really did. Oh, my feet. They're broken. Well, oh, we have to sew these first, and then we will put them on. Be careful with those. Okay, we have to sew these right sides together. But we need. Where's my ruler? We need a ruler. Need to leave a little opening. About 10 centimeters. Or so to there. Okay. I'm just going to put a couple of clips on this because I don't want to shift on me while I'm sewing it. And that's good. getting a drink. I got my bubble water. Okay. 
Now I'll turn my iron back on after I smash Jeff with it. All right, stitch from here to here. I'll just use my tourney tool for that. <clears throat> yeah, you know how hard it is going to be to stitch this? On a curve not fun at all well this ain't gonna be a frickin fun Ugh. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I would you would think my foot would have a guide for that, but it doesn't. We'll just figure it out. going to do wow. I'm almost tempted just to sew it and cut it off that's what I'm going to do because I'm not going to try to piss around with that that is just too much work one more stitch across that see who's gonna even see that as long as you stitch it lots it won't fray what <laughs> this is called lazy okay <laughs> that's what that's called Don't allow it to spray. Just do a nice little stitching around it. So 
So now it can never fray. Uh -huh. There we go. I fixed it. Ribs. Nice fray job. Okay, I don't care. Don't need for a chicken pot holder. Just for a chicken. Alright. Whoa, this doesn't even fit on here now. What? Well, I'll be. Well, I know those fit. Hmm. Well, that's not good. I'm pretty sure hers fit perfect. Unless I wasn't supposed to turn it inside out. Oh, you know what? I don't think I was. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I cut that off. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Uh oh. This wasn't supposed to be closed up. Well, let's see if I can fix it. Let's just cut this off. Because we need this open to turn the chicken out, idiot. Yeah. That is why it didn't fit. Now it should fit. Well, it used to fit. Oh, no. I'm going to have to remake this. These. In a different color. Because I don't have these colors. That's a big screw up. Whoops, this goes this way. Oh, I even sewed them wrong. I was supposed to sew wrong sides together. Ha <laughs> ha! I am really screwed up. Damn it. I need all new ones. Well, I ain't finishing this today now. I gotta... Oh, I still have. Can I fit on here? No. Dang it. I probably can on the pink. But the yellow... I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I could do this. And this. Oh, shit, no. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. But I can do it with this yellow. can redo it
now that I know what I'm doing. This is why you guys try not to follow, follow patterns that are not in English. Because that's what makes it very, very hard. Ouch. Ooh. Pins, pins, pins. Why is it every time I use pins I get poked to death? Every time. Now let me see if this is even going to fit. That's a good size. Okay. I'm being lazy. Again, this doesn't really matter. and easy painless absolutely painless oh you little twerk I 
need to wipe my fingers because they are very sticky. They are a sticky mess. Press that on there. Good, very good. and seeing I really don't get her instructions. I don't. They're, they're very vague. First of all, <coughs> you never sewed chickens which we probably should do that because you can't sew that on without sewing the chickens that's in my way all right wish me luck to watch and make sure my pins and that is out of the way I see you pin Yes, I do. Shit, I gotta get that pin out of there because it's going to whack right into my needle. Just hope and pray it worked. That's all I can say.
put a dip pen go. See stitches skipping already. Yep, that skipped a whole whack of stitches there. Oh boy, it's not going to stitch it. Maybe I'll try from this direction. I don't know. What do I want with you? You guys are garbage. Okay. Now these have to be right sides together. Not wrong sides. And you're only supposed to baste, baste them. You gotta leave an opening to turn this all out. So there. Looks good enough to me. Okay, that one's done. I'm not sure how this is going to work when that's the inside. I don't get it. I really don't. Is this? Just along the edge. What was that all about? My thread broke. Why? Who knows? Just to prolong it even more. Oh boy. Just not do this right now. Come on. Wow. What a waste of thread.
Okay, now. That got stitched too far down. I don't know how that happened, but can't go like that. Okay, now you'll sit open good, and you are not sitting open good. Move you in there. Whoopsie. That way. I want it that way. Okay. That is going to fit beautifully. Where's that opening? Oh, it's down here. Okay. So we will start up there. Okay. Let's go be on the bottom. Perfect. much overhang is ouch bitch stop poking me ow jeez just want to trim this off so that it's all even and I can see when I'm stitching it that I'll stay in thin Will catch the seams. Okay. Let's sew this so I can get poked to death. I need to go from this direction. Oh boy, am I throwing pins in here? I think I did. Yes, I did. What a moron. How many? I remember sticking some in here and getting super poked. That was not smart, Ribs. Turn my stitching down.
over there. stitch this all the way back here Not sure how that works because this is going to be exposed and I don't understand her method. I just don't get it. All right, let me just try it because I'm not sewing that other one. I just don't get this. I don't at all because this is exposed. No. No, this is not going to work. That didn't even get sewed. Gee. None. This does not make sense. It doesn't. I don't get this. I don't get her philosophy in that. What? Why did I have to leave this open? I am not getting this. This is kind of dumb.
because you turn it inside out that way. Okay, I'm just going to trim it. Not sure how this is going to work, but okay. turn it out see what it looks like I just don't get it oh it's pretty bulky look at that didn't even sew in there Ooh, that totally missed. Jeez. Oh, How? That totally missed. In there. The green. Try this, see if I can stitch it some more. See if that caught it. very hard to understand people that don't speak English. I don't know why I picked such a pattern to do. What the F? Where's her head? feel it. I just don't see it yet. Oh, man. What the fuck? What the hell? I'm going to give up. Something happened up here. Somehow, this got stitched. Oh, I see what happened. I never pulled that out. I should have. Anyways, these are the pot holders.
Latida. Her poor little hair head. That got so down because I didn't pull it up when I went all the way around. Oh, this is sad. It is cute though. Definitely needs a top stitch. But I am going to turn this outside, unpick this, and take her little, whatever you call that thing off. Because it is cute. See? It just sits on your counter. <laughs> oh, man. Did I do that to this one, too? Probably. Let me just check. I probably did. Let's have a look, see. See if I sewed her head down. Yep, it got sewed down in the seam there. So that's the one I need to unpick and pull that out. That was not smart. Not a big deal to fix. I'm sure that's where the beak is too, right? Holy cow, look how much of it got sewed down. Where's the beak? Where's the beak? See, that needs to get pushed in there. Probably got stitched there, too. <coughs> Let's see if I can fix this without getting poked. if it's if it's okay no it did got stitched with the beak oh dang it that side's fixed now you have to undo the beak oh lordy 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 I wasn't even watching that I mean, that would be cute. I'll just have to undo that. Unpick the stitches here. And push that little flappy thing up. Okay. Don't want any of it snagged. Let's push it in. Like so. Make sure it's all tucked in. We stitch it. Now let's have a look at it. See if it's all better. There we go. Fix, pull out some of these threads that I have. That's way better. Right here on my that trimmers. See? <laughs> now that is cute. Like that. All right, you are good. Now, let's just make sure we don't, let's put you back up inside there so we don't accidentally stitch you.
All right. That's ready to get fixed. But how did this go back inside out? How did we do this? Shit. This way. Yep. We're going to fix this. I already cut it too. Okay, this one's going in the garbage. Goodbye. I'm done. I'll finish this one later and show you guys it. I don't feel like doing it now. Yep. Because when I trimmed all around, I cut off part of that red thing. What a waste. It's numb to want it. I don't want it. Sorry, guys. I did a shit job. <laughs> it would have been cute if I didn't cut it. Dang, I cut it off. Shoot. Yeah, I cut it off right there. Oh, I cut it off there. I cut it there. Oh, man. I cut a good chunk of it off on this side. So there's no way to pull it up now. I could make a new one instead of throwing this whole pot holder out. That's for tomorrow. I will make a new one tomorrow. I'm done for today. It's what? 416. Holy man. Yeah, I'm going to redo this. I'm just going to take this top part off, redo a red one. Major, no major problem. That way I don't have to throw it out. But I'm going to get going because I'm getting exhausted and i got to go cook supper. Shit. I'm just making beef on the bun anyway. So Maybe. I don't even feel like doing that. Hi, Spooky Professor. Yes, Daryl, I am going to sew a new red one on it. In fact, let me get a piece of red out. So just so I know. I have to cut that piece out again. I'll put it on here. And I'll just re redo it tomorrow. I'll just take that one out. This one wasn't so hard to turn inside right. So I'm not worried. It's that beak I don't want to do. That beak is nasty. So there. I will cut two of these and fix it tomorrow. I don't want to lose my pieces, so I'm going to put them in a sheet protector in with my patterns. And that's a wrap for today, guys. Okay? It is cute. It's very cute. It will be cute. And then you got to top stitch it. I don't think I'm going to top stitch that. That is just way too bulky. I don't think you, you do. You just iron it. Do you see why I say to use Insulbrite? Because, oh, and you got to sew a bead on the eye, for the eye. But, it just needs to be good press. And then seal this up, crapola, seal this up, which won't be too, too bad, I guess, I don't know, I'm not going to enjoy this part for sure, but anyway, you get the gist, actually, I might just turn it this way, stitch it, and hide it inside of that pocket, you won't even see it, 
Yeah, and then on the head, you're supposed to sew a bead there. I'm just going to put a small bead, sew a small bead to it. And then you just use this for a pot holder. And the insulbrite will definitely protect your fingers. I think it's easier if you just do this. Right? Sew that down. Tack that down really good here. And then just pop it up. Yeah, but how would you tack that part down? Yeah, that's not going to work. But anyway, I'm, i got to finish that because this is too cute to just throw in the garbage. And what I like is it just stands up right on your counter. <laughs> and then you just go like this to use it. And I like these. And your hand fits perfectly in this area here. But look what I did to the poor head. We'll fix you. Damn it. But anyway. The tail is cute too. I might sew a tiny button for the eye. Not a bead. I have all kinds of buttons. I just think it's cute. Stand that up. How cute is that? <laughs> she doesn't show you how to fix this, okay? This is just a, you guess it. You guess how to do it. I think if I just ironed it, pinned it there, clipped it. Let me try this. Clip it there. Clip it there. I don't want to close this up right now because I have to reopen it. But that's how you would do it. Easy peasy. Just do a very tiny stitch on it. And that'll finish it up nice. Yep, that'll work. Chicken pot holder, eh? Stinking cute. You could see right there where I missed. Put the clip in there and then you finish it up. But yeah, we'll fix it. I don't really like yellow, anyways. <laughs> That's how you had to turn it inside right. You had to have this part open. But now I know what I'm doing. If I ever make more of them, I know what to do in a pinch. Especially with the chicken head. We'll fix you. Let me see. Let's see what kind of tiny buttons I've got. <clears throat> Um, I know I have a tiny button somewhere. I don't know. These aren't too tiny. This might be too big. I'm 
going to have to put these in. Oh, here's a tiny pink one. So you sew a button there. Oh, that's too big. I think I'll stick with the bead. Man, I love these buttons. Oh, look at broken one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a bead. A button is too big. So a little pearl will work. These are from Button Basics. No, from Buttons Galore and More. There's some wicked cool buttons in here. Look at that one. I got a whole bunch of buttons I ordered from that company. Like, I mean a ton of buttons. They came in little plasticky jars. Snowflakes. Those. What are these ones? These are crap. Look at these. These are so cute. These are, but they're so expensive. And these ones here came in little jars. I got all kinds of colors. I'm not going to pull them all out. These came in like little mason jars. Sparkly buttons, glitter buttons, these are all purples, these are all pinks, these are all whites, there's brown, green, blue, turquoise, there's all kinds of colors, yellow, I love these buttons, they're so cool. And I was going to put these ones in jars. But I need bigger jars than what I've got in my craft room. Because they're too small for those. They get them in these little containers. It says buttons galore. Pinks. Sparkly ones. There's a big one there. I mean there's every size under the sun in these. Even the white ones are cute. Very cute. This is called Antique White. But this one, and this one's called, uh, I think this is called the Pastels. And what I like about these is because they had all different kinds. Look at teddy bear buttons. Look at that button. How cute is that? Purple, more yellow. I love this green, this mint green. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. It's very cool. Yeah, so I love my buttons. Never even used a single one of them yet. <laughs> and these ones here I got over for my grandkids to someday finish their journals. Mini albums. And you're right, it almost went to the butcher. Yep. Ah. Alright guys, I'm going. I'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to finish working on my quilt. But now I have the glare of the sun in my eyes from my window. It's the way the sun's moving now getting super bright so i'll see you guys tomorrow yep this was almost to the butcher is right <laughs> you gotta admit that is ugly like that with no thing up there but ugly but now i know what i'm doing now i know these are super cute you could hide your weed in there <laughs> 
Very funny, Ruby. <laughs> Uh, thanks for joining me guys <laughs> have yourself a wonderful day rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> have a good one guys bye